Seem like the whole city go against me Every time I'm in the street, I hear Yuck, 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 yuck Man down, where you from, nigga? Fuck who you know, where you from, my nigga? Where you from? Wait, wait, wait Hey, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that DIY on the heat escape. I hope it helped a lot of you guys out. Most certainly, if you guys are doing this process to your fenders on whatever car it is you guys have, make sure to post it on Build Not Bob, bro, so I can check it out and see how yours come out. <laughs> Hopefully better than mine. I don't think they came out too bad, but I mean, as far as the fabrication, the fabrication's all finished, but now it's time to do some body work and Get these things primered and get them painted, dude, because they gotta match the car, of course. I ain't gonna lie, I was kinda digging how this one looked on there. Like that whole dingy black, some bare metal going on, you know what I mean? But we're not building a rat rod. All right, first thing I need to do is get these things out back and get them clean, dude, because they're filthy as hell. I'm gonna hose them down, use a little bit of dish soap, and just scrub them up, make them all pretty, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I feel like there's probably maybe three minutes worth of video so far. And I've been working on these motherfuckers for like two hours. Hey, that's the way it goes, I guess, sometimes. Uh, but I got the fenders all sanded, bro. They're clean, inside and out. Scrub the shit out of them. And I sanded them down. I went over everything with 80 grit. Well, I used 40 grit in some places just to kind of smoothen out where we welded and where we, you know, took the grinder to this. Um, and then I went over it with 80 grit um, and then 120. So just to kind of give something for the primer to really bite into. Here's the passenger side fender. The passenger side fender has a lot more uh, like dings and stuff going on in it that I'm gonna have to fix This one is actually used that fender right there is brand new But this is a an OEM fender and this one here is one of those certifit fenders. It's a like a, a China fender I don't know. All right now I ran over to Walmart and I grabbed me some Bondo This thing was like like eight dollars and I grabbed me a tablet of paper if you guys don't remember I actually showed you guys this trick a long time ago quite a few episodes ago but you can use just a regular little tablet of paper to grab your Bondo put your Bondo on here your hardener you can mix it up on this piece of paper take this piece of paper and your spreader and then go over to whatever it is you're working on whenever you come back and you need to get some more Bondo or if you're done you can just rip this page off you got a fresh page to mix up some more Bonda. I need to cut this guy down because it's way yeah, too big for what we're doing. I like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do in these seams in here is I'm basically just gonna use my finger, dude. I'm gonna use my finger and just kind of smear it in there as smooth as I can. Oh yeah. 
over here, rip this page off. Bow, just like that. Alright, I got the bondo spread on all the seams, uh, covered up, filled in all of our little cracks, and anywhere there's a little ding, mostly that fender over there. Whenever you go to Sam Bondo, if it's kind of gummy, you don't want to sand it. You want it to turn to like a powder whenever you're sanding it. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're gonna have to wait a little bit for it to dry up nice and hard. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock this down with 120 and then we'll have to check it and see if there's any more spots. Never fails. <laughs> now, after we get this knocked down with some 120 grit sandpaper, uh, I'm probably gonna have to bring it in here and do another little thin layer of Bondo here and there and uh, do it all over again, you know what I'm saying? Until I'm happy with it, until I know everything is nice and filled in. Then we'll be able to move on to the high build primer, which is exciting for me because I love spraying high build primer. That shit's like liquid Bondo, bro. You just put it on as thick as you want so you see everything you don't like disappear. <laughs> When I put another coat of Bondo in the area, pretty much every area, I'm gonna take them out there and sand this down once again. But, yep, running out of sunlight. That's not good because I kind of needed to get the Fender's primer today because the 2K primer, the high build primer that I'm using, I'm going to have to put it on so thick that it's got to dry overnight um, and a good portion of the day tomorrow before I can put paint on them. So, I don't know. I If I don't run a light out here to actually primer them, it's probably what I'm going to have to do. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get paint on them this weekend. So with that being said, I'm gonna hurry up and sand these. I, I don't know if I have, because the problem is the extension cord that I have is long enough to reach over there to run a light. My dog's chewed it up. So, I don't know if I have an extension cord that's gonna reach all the way over there. I don't know. See where we end up. We still have tomorrow. I really wanna get them painted this weekend so that I could put them on the car probably Monday, but it is what it is, brother. Boys, we got ourselves a brand new day. Today is now Sunday. Well, I'll probably not get any paint on the fenders, I most certainly need to get these things primed at least. It's probably for the best, dude, because with the amount of primer that I'm gonna be putting on these, you're supposed to really allow for a good cure time to let that stuff really harden. Without talking too much about it, dude, I still gotta knock down some Bondo on these. And then we'll get back in the garage where the air conditioning's at and get some primer mixed up. And I'll show you guys what I'm using, man. in the garage man I guess I probably ought to turn my lights on this is a 2k primer it's gray it's high build this shit is literally like liquid bondo and I freaking love it because you put it on as thick as you want to and it just it fills everything in bro like basically if you even still have like the fenders still have some imperfections there's probably some spots where I could probably put a little bit more bondo but I don't have to because I can just put this stuff on there really thick this primer, this is made by USC. Like, I've used a few different 2K primers, gray 2K primers. I get all my stuff uh, here locally at a store called Old School because because honestly, they just have the best pricing, bro. For the most part, wherever it is you buy your paint, go in there and tell them that you need a high build 2K primer and they'll get you. They, they got it. That's all you got to tell them. Just 
go in wherever it is you're buying your paint tell them you need a high build 2k primer if you want to use the same stuff that i'm using right here so this stuff is a four to one mixture i have a little mix cup here uh i'll go right here to four one but it's it's four one two basically we'll fill up uh the primer to like that seven and then we'll fill up the hardener to that seven and then the two we're just going to ignore because that would be for reducer but we're not reducing this if you want if you want to reduce this you can but for the most part i just want this shit to go on thick as fuck this is made by graco it's their finex line the fx 3000 hvlp this gun is like it varies dude you can find them from 150 to 200 bucks this is the more expensive of the cheaper guns, you know what I'm saying? So anyhow, with the fitting on the end, this just pops right on to the 3M PPS cup. Bow, just like that. And you're good to go. What's good about this is you don't have to worry about it leaking. If you guys are familiar with the hard cups, like the aluminum cups that come with these, it has a cap on top. And if you tilt it too much in a direction, then you your paint drops all over the freaking place, right? This doesn't do that. That liner inside actually compresses down as you're using the product, so it doesn't have to have a breather hole. You could spray this upside down even, bro. Like, I've done like underneath, inside the wheel well or whatever. You could spray, hold this thing upside down and spray. Um, the 3M PPS cups is most certainly a damn good investment if you're painting as often as I do. You know what I mean? We're all ready to go, brother. Let's get back outside in this Arizona sun, in the heat, and let's spray this shit. I gotta find my mask. Oh, I haven't cleaned that in a minute. All right, guys, now what I'm wanting to do here is three coats, the same as I do with paint. Uh, the reason why, I normally don't really do that much primer, but since being we're trying, you know, we had a couple of dents um, and then all this, you know, welding and the body work and stuff that took place with the heat escapes. I want to put a nice thick layer of, of primer on there because a lot of it we're going to sand off. I would get the first coat done and then I'll kind of go around it and I'll do the second and third and then show you guys what it looks like after we get all three coats on. now this is after one coat and as you guys can see the coverage is very well you can't see any of the metal or anything in behind it this isn't a translucent primer dude this stuff is real freaking thick so it has so it has some really good blocking power from what's behind it now if you guys can see like some of these areas right here these are the imperfections i was talking about uh even some of the spots where the bondo fill, didn't quite fill in all the way I can't tell if you guys are able to see that through the camera or not because the sun is directly on my screen and all I see is black. But this is one coat. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it has a really heavy orange peel to it. That's normal and that's fine because we are going to be, like I said, sanding all that out. Um, anywhere where there's Bondo right now, you'll see that the Bondo kind of still stands out like right here. You can see that there's a spot of Bondo underneath there. After the second and third coats, you'll no longer be able to see that. And that's another thing that I like to look for is whenever I have Bondo on a panel, I like to make sure that the primer is just completely disguising it. I don't want to be able to see the Bondo through the primer because that makes me fearful that you might see it through the paint. <laughs> This is after three coats, uh, with the last coat being extremely thick. I mean, thick as hell I put it on there. So now, as you can see, everything has been filled in. Uh, you don't see all those little imperfections anymore from where the Bondo didn't fill in quite enough. 
Um, there is a lot of orange peel, but like I mentioned before, we're gonna be sanding all that stuff out whenever we shape the fenders. And then it'll actually be getting a whole nother coat of primer before we start painting. But it's definitely coming out looking really good, dude. Alright, that's all we can really do today, guys. I mean, that stuff's really got to have some time to dry, bro. You see how thick that shit is. I know one thing I didn't mention earlier about the gun that I'm using, this is a 1.8 millimeter tip. A 1.8 and a 2.0 is what you'd want to use for spraying a primer like this, or a primer in general, really. Anything that's really thick, you want to use a larger millimeter. Now, whenever it comes to the actual paint or clear coating, like the base coat and clear coat, um, I always use like the SATA that you guys see me spray the car with that I no longer have. That gun was a 1.3 millimeter tip. So, but the thing is, is that gun sprays really good because that's like a thousand dollar freaking spray gun. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to get into painting and you want to learn how, go and pick up a cheap ass gun. It doesn't even have to be an expensive cheap gun like this. Go to Harbor Freight, pick up a Harbor Freight gun, dude. I have Harbor Freight guns. See, I have a couple Harbor Freight guns, dude, and I, I have actually used them. Um, they're kind of, uh, I haven't taken too very well. I haven't taken care of them very well, but I've used them and they spray good, bro. Like they, they're not bad. As long as you know what you're doing, you get everything set correctly, they spray really well. But the problem with them is they don't last long. Like. From my experience of buying a Harbor Freight gun, I can get, get it to spray really well. Let me get the hatch in the background because I know you guys like to have something pretty to look at instead of my ugly ass. From my experience with the Harbor Freight gun, dude, like they spray really good the first couple of times, but then it starts to kind of dwindle down. You know what I'm saying? They don't last long. No matter how well you clean them for whatever reason, I mean, it's just a cheap ass gun, brother. It doesn't last very long, but I definitely do recommend it if you're just trying to practice and, and you know, get your freaking, get your feet wet with spraying. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyhow, I'm sorry I didn't get any paint on the fenders this weekend. I know you guys want to see what it is they look like and believe me, believe me, I want to see what they look like painted and on the car as well, dude. I'm excited to get the front end kind of finished up because once we get the fenders finished, we can get headlights in, we can get the front bumper mounted. Uh, we can actually see what this car looks like. One, <laughs> I'm excited for the future. I got some DIYs coming that I know you guys are gonna love, man. Uh, front splitter, side skirts. Thinking about even doing an entire underbody, the underbelly sheet, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of really cool DIYs to come, brother. But that's it for today's video, man. I know it was a fucking tease, you know what I'm saying? It's teasing me too, believe me, dog. Shit, I'm in the same boat as you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you for watching the video. Please smash the like button if you like the video. Share it with your friends, and if you're not on Built Not Bot, brother, come join the Facebook group, Built Not Bot. Share what it is you guys are working on. Um, I mean, God, we have almost 15,000 subscribers on the channel, and I don't even think we have 2,000 of you guys actually in the Built Not Bot group. You know what I'm saying? So come join the Built Not Bot family. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I need to stop saying you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram too. Peace. You know what I'm saying?